U.S. time right now. But anyway, I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and I'm going to teach you how to play Living on Key West Time by Howard Livingston and Mile Marker 42. First of all, you're going to put your capo on the second fret. If you don't have a capo or you don't care what key you're playing, just do everything I'm saying, only down a step. I'm going to start you off with the opening riff. We're going to play a D chord. Your uh, first finger is on the third string. Now, every Every direction I give you is going to refer to the capo. So like I said, if you don't have one, you can just do it from the nut and it's the same thing, only in a different key. First finger goes on the third string, second fret. Middle finger goes on the first string, second fret. And your ring finger goes between them on the second string, third fret. And you're going to play the open D first. Now, uh, in the recording, I've got Mr. Livingston hammers on with his middle finger. And you're going to kind of pick your fingers up off the frets as soon as you play it. So it's kind of uh, staccato. We're going to go straight to an A7. First finger is on the fourth string, second fret. Middle finger is on the second string, second fret. Next one's an E minor 7. You're going to put your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, and your ring finger or your pinky, whichever is most comfortable, on the second string, third fret. Now six strings. Now as you start to repeat it, you're going to play a little hammer-on lead-in. Fifth string, hammer on the second fret, and play the fourth string immediately. And with some variations, that's actually the bulk of the song. Oh, uh, when the band kicks in, uh, he's playing a G, A, D, just to walk up back to the D. Next chord is a G, your first finger hangs, your middle finger plays the fifth string, second fret, ring finger plays the sixth string, third fret, and your pinky plays the uh, first string, third fret, all six strings. The next new chord is a B minor on down to every night's a Saturday night. Your first finger goes all the way across on the second fret and kind of lay it down so you can get both the fifth string on the second fret and the first string. And then your middle finger is going to go on the second string one fret up from your finger and the ring finger is going to go two frets up on the fourth string. Your ring finger crowds behind on the third string also two frets up from your first finger. Play five strings. Every night's a Saturday night. F sharp minor, you just slide the whole business up one string and pick up your middle finger. Don't flip off the audience. Play all six strings. Now you might find that a little difficult if you've never played bar chords. A good exercise is to start all the way up on the ninth fret, push down, and don't cheat and use your other fingers. Push down with your first finger, thumb is directly behind it on the back of the neck, like that. And squeeze them together until you, and you might have to shift your finger around. If uh, your, uh, one of your, cre your knuckle creases is on the string, it won't play very well. So you shift it around a little bit until you get all six of them playing. And then the next night, do that for a little while, down a fret, and then keep moving down the neck on frets until you can push down. As far as I'm concerned, the most Key West thing about this is the strumming pattern. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. and relax, nice and easy. All the syncopation comes from sometimes you change chords on an upstroke. I've been around this world a few too many times. In fact, almost all of the A's and A7's are going to be on the upstroke. The main thing is to keep a steady beat going and change the A chord on the upstroke. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. I'm on Key West time. Got a smile on my face that you can't. Check in the links below for a chord chart, play-along video, as well as links to other songs you might like to learn. 
Below that, there's a big gray comment box. If you're having any trouble at all, please feel free to ask questions. I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and this has been Living on Key West Time by Howard Livingston and Mile Marker 42. Thank you for watching. That's why I'm